a Kruger Park safari in a cottage tent or hut with our ensuite bathrooms. Stay in a comfortable and durable army strength cottage tent or hut equipped with electricity and lights. Soap and towels are provided. Your accommodation is also not shared with strangers. The cottage tents are equipped with mosquito proofing, a cooling fan, small fridge, beds and linen, as well as towels and soap. The off-suite huts are equipped with mosquito proofing, cupboards, air conditioner, small fridge, beds and linen, towels and soap. Before you inquire, we need to know how many people you are, what are your specific dates, also help us to check availability. What is your total budget excluding flights? What specific type of safari are you interested in? What are your correct contact details and times to call you? Which country are you from to get in contact with you? Please note, if we take a while to answer, it might be that it is late in the night in South Africa, as there sometimes is a large time delay between countries. Warning! Please note, the safari is always subject to availability. Do not hesitate to inquire long enough in advance, as available spots sell out quickly. A safe air-conditioned minibus will take you to the camp and back to your drop-off point. Transfers are not always included and at additional charge, depending on your needs. Warning! Do not book your flights before confirming the scheduled pick-up and drop-off times with our consultant. There is a scheduled morning shuttle to Kruger Park to ensure that you are on time for the Kruger Park gate and all activities. We do not accept responsibility for missed flights. We can arrange comfortable accommodation before and after your safari to ease travel pressure. You have the opportunity to explore Johannesburg when you arrive a day before or stay a day afterward. Please ensure you can make the morning shuttle, otherwise you'll have to pay extra for a private shuttle. You will stop en route from Johannesburg for lunch on the scheduled shuttle. This will be at your own expense. The shuttle only has specific stops. Additional stops will cause the entire safari program to be delayed. When taking a private shuttle or car rental, please take note that car rentals and private shuttles are more expensive. These are always subject to availability. You may miss meals and or activities to arrive at your destination on time. Meals can however be bought en route at your own expense. You will not get a discount on the safari due to missed activities, but you can however book the panorama route at additional charge on a private shuttle from or to Johannesburg. The speed limit inside Kruger Park is 50 km an hour. It might take more than an hour to travel 50 km in the park and long distances can be covered. Animals roam freely inside the Kruger Park. Click on the below button to see how to handle these driving conditions. The drive from Johannesburg is 6 hours and the Kruger Park closing time is 6 o'clock in summer and 5.30 in winter. Due to logistics, you'll have to leave Johannesburg by 10 on a private shuttle, otherwise you'll need to book local flights. Kruger National Park is about 2 million hectares in size and the locations for safari packages are quite far apart. Click to read a blog about the differences between different safari locations. Please book flights so you'll be in time according to the pickup time of your safari. If you need to, please book local flights as follows. For safaris operated inside Kruger Park, please book Sukuza or Nelspread Airport. Nelspread Airport is about two hours drive from Sukuza. For safaris closer to Hoodsbrake, please book it straight airport. For safaris closer to Palabora, please book flights there.
schedules Johannesburg pick up from your accommodation for Johannesburg Airport is between 6 and 8 a.m. Be ready at the earliest given time as the exact time cannot be given due to city traffic. Airport pick up at 12 p.m. from Nelspray Airport. Please note, it can take up to two hours to check in and out of flights due to new South African regulations. Pickup is anywhere in Johannesburg at the scheduled pickup times for the shuttle. Booking overnight accommodation closer to Johannesburg Airport is better for logistical purposes. Please note, we do not pick up as far as Midrand, Machalisburg, Cullinan, Brachtbahn or Krugersdorp. If you land at Skukuza Airport, please try to book your flights in such a manner that you'll be ready for the pickup at 11am. We will let you know the day before travel about a more estimated time for pickup. Your rest camp has an electric fence for your safety to keep the big pipe out of the camp. There are some non-human visitors in the camps such as bush babies, vervet monkeys, please do not feed the monkeys, keep your snacks in the tents which need to be zipped and doors closed if staying in a chalet. There are also fruit bags, many interesting species of birds, small antelope, war dogs. These creatures are really ignorant of their human counterparts in the camp. And many more. It is advised to walk in pairs at night and take a torch with you. Your guide will explain all of this to you. We will include a night drive for safaris three days and longer. Dine in true African style with three core South African gourmet foods according to your dietary requirements. Unlimited red and white wine is also at your disposal while you are on safari. This is served with dinners. This is the Camp Boma. In the morning you get coffee, muffins and fruit before going on game drive. Game drives are in open safari vehicles allowing you the best possible vantage point. After early morning wake up call you go on game drive around 6am after coffee. All game ranges on our safaris will be qualified by Fidaza and the providers are Saxa bonded. Animals roam freely inside the Kruger Park. Sightings of all the big five are not guaranteed, although you stand a great chance to do so. The light green areas in the map on the right side of the screen indicate Greater Kruger area. Sabi Sands is one of the private game reserves in Greater Kruger. There are also five star lodges and more affordable options in all the Kruger Park Greater Kruger Park areas. Game viewing in Sabi Sands is not necessarily better. All sightings are dependent on luck, no matter what Animal Planet or other nature TV channels would like to make you believe. Click to read a blog about the differences between sightings in national parks compared to private reserves. Cheaper more or more expensive options are not always better. A travel tip would be to make sure what is included, which is more important than where your safari is located. Kruger Park is a huge natural habitat and you might drive for some time before finding animals. Breakfast is a proper English breakfast, but you can also choose to eat muesli and yogurt. 
Now it's Easter time. After breakfast, we have time to rest and visit the rest camp restaurants with views like these. The rest camps have shops. The rest camps have food to take a swim in the hot summer African heat. The rest camps have historical sites to visit. The rest camps have ablution facilities which are cleaned daily. In the afternoon, we get light finger snacks before going on game drive. Game drives are in open safari vehicles allowing you the best possible vantage point. The afternoon game drive is around 2 o'clock. Game drive vehicles have three rows of seats and sit nine people. The rows of seats are on different levels so you can see the animals better than in a normal car. If you are a photographer, you can book a private vehicle at additional cost. Children 8 years and younger cannot go on game drive, but if the child is close or up to 8 years old, it is possible. This is at the game ranger's discretion. On tours which are 3 days and longer, you have the opportunity to take the optional panorama route excursion on the second day after breakfast. Due to the travel distance and to allow enough time for each viewpoint, this optional excursion replaces all the activities on day 2. This vehicle is used on the Panorama Route excursion. You will visit attractions such as the Blyde River Canyon, Three Rondavals, God's Window, Berlin Falls, and Lisbon Falls. During the panorama route, you will stop in one of the small towns en route for lunch. This will be at your own expense. You can also choose to do an excursion to Tulani Primary School, located in a nearby Hukuri village. Guests depart on this excursion after breakfast. You spend the remainder of the morning at the school interacting with the learners and teachers. This excursion is available and payable cash or by a credit card at the camp, which you can book through the camp manager. All proceeds of this excursion is dedicated to improving the school and the lives of the children. Airport drop-off is between 12 and 2 at Nelspot Airport. Sukuza Airport drop-off is around 11 a.m. Schedule Johannesburg drop-off at your accommodation or our tambo is between 5 o'clock and 6 o'clock. It can take up to 2 hours to check in and out of flights as well. Work on the latest drop-off time, as your trip back is dependent on traffic and weather conditions if you want to book same-day flights. We suggest that you overnight in Johannesburg. Warning. Do not book your flights before confirming the scheduled pick-up and drop-off times with our consultants. There is a scheduled afternoon shuttle to Johannesburg to ensure you can still partake in the morning activity on the last day. We do not accept responsibility for missed flights. Some pre-departure information. Rates you will pay will be right applicable to the year you are travelling since there are annual park fee increases. The sharing price means the price each person will pay to share a room together. Don't worry, you will not share your room with strangers. The single rate of a safari is usually more than the sharing rate, since a single room or tent has to be occupied by only one person. Children under 12 cost 50% of the adult sharing rate. In this case, however, the safari does not cost you more if you are a single traveller. Therefore, 
no simple supplement applies. Click to view a detailed blog on what you pack. Please note, this blog provides you a general idea of what you need to pack, but what you bring is up to you. Malaria. Consult your doctor before travel, as there are certain requirements by your country, depending on your nationality. Kruger Park is generally a low-risk area, but you are advised to consult your medical practitioner and embassy regarding the requirements. Be well. Consult your embassy long before travel to ensure all your visas are in place for the countries visited on tour. This is to ensure that you do not miss out on any part of your tour. Also ensure there are enough blank spaces on your passport. You will for example have to pay extra to be transported around Swaziland as this is a different country from South Africa if you do not have a visa for it and you are going to visit the country. Medical and travel insurance. Make sure you have the adequate health insurance for travel as it is sometimes a legal requirement to get your visa. Please contact your embassy to find out more. Some activity providers will insist on medical insurance before participation on activities. Travel insurance is sometimes provided with your credit card, but it is advisable to pre-arrange it before travel. Medical conditions. Please inform us of any pre-existing condition, such as diabetes or asthma, and any prescription medicine that you might be taking. We also need to know about any food allergies or physical disabilities that you might have. Persons over the age of 60 are advised to provide us a medical certificate that they are fit for travel before commencing the trip. Climate The African sun is very strong. Please use a factor 30 sunscreen and wear a hat. You should drink at least 3 liters of water per day to avoid dehydration. It can also get very cold during winter months on this route. 